forgot to say? I had to make a closer tonight. I think we're up about seven. Yeah. Morning. David, that's Pat. I was going to pop in. Oh, well, I think she'd rather be on her own to tell you the truth, Cathy. Right, well, she knows where to find Cheers. it. Cheers. Come. I'll see you later. Yeah. So, how do you feel about Frank being back then? Well, I don't intend losing any sleep over it. Well, I thought you more than anyone would have good reason to want rid of him. What are you going to do it for a minute? Put the frighteners on? Well, it's in our our interest that you should hang around. Yeah, well, believe me, I ain't exactly getting the red carpet out for Pass the wrench. Ricky? Listen, Phil, I was seeing my dad this morning, and I want to have a little talk to you. Yeah? It's probably a good idea, though, isn't it? You and him having a little chat? Look, Ricky, he's your dad, and you're pleased he's back. I can understand that. You're about the only one that is. That's not true. Oh, who else is there? Apart from you and Janine. Oh, Sam, for a start, she's glad to see him. And you've spoken to her, have you? Yeah, sort of. Listen, I feel uh, about Sam. What about? Has she said anything to you? About what? Well, about me. Uh, I know. I just, I just can't work out what's going on the side of her head, that's all. What is this? I just thought she might have said something to you. What is it with you butchers? What are you, what are you talking about? You just can't leave it alone, can you? You're always stirring everything up. What are you on about? I'm talking about you, and I'm talking about your old man. And what about my old man? Oh, come on, what about my old man? You should have stayed away and saved everyone a load of grief. You what? You heard. Yeah, hold on a second. What do you mean, hold on a second? Now, who started all this? Think about it, Phil. It was you. The calf, the flat, putting the screws on him, you know, when he was short of a bob or two. And whose idea was it firing the car lot? Hey, who lit the match? Who killed the kid? It was you, Phil. So don't ever talk to me about us butchers, all right? I think you take the rest of the day off, eh? And me and Sam, we would have been all right. What's Sam got to do with any of this? Only you and your gorilla of a brother couldn't leave well alone, then. I mean, and what about the bedsits? Who pushed us out of the bedsits? What did you say to me? Oh, it's just business. Is everything just business to you, is it? Is your kid just going to be business? Look, I'm it's sorry, all right? Gonna make. I'm sorry, all right? No, it's not good enough. Not this time, Phil. Why don't you just grow up, eh? Oh, good afternoon, Philip. Not interrupting anything, am I? Now, would you mind, son? I want a quick word with your boss. Right. Oh, by the way, I've got a tip today. 340 Wing Canton, Man of Steel. Put some money on it, make yourself a few, Bob. Right. <laughs> See you Well? What was that all about just now, you and Ricky? Hmm. You've, uh, you've done pretty well for yourself in the last couple of years, haven't you, Phil, eh? Big new house. Done out nice, so I'm told. The arches, the calf, slice of the pub. Let's not forget the new flat. A beautiful wife and a baby on the way. Funny old world, isn't it? <clears throat> I used to have a wife. I used to have kids. I went to pick my little girl up in school yesterday afternoon. I need to watch a guy in the front door with her other dad. That's the geese we're shacking up with my missus, by the way. I want you to imagine how that feels, Philip. Are oh, you imagining? Oh, don't it? How many other things you've got now are I used to have? The flat, the calf, the pub, the wife. One that stood by you, even though you was messing about with your brother's missus. Yeah. I heard all about that. Yeah, you've been a lucky boy one way or another all round, Philip, haven't you, eh? <coughs> you know where I was this morning? Ricky says you've got some deal cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. DSS. I stood for two hours in the queue, only to find they never had the right form. All right. I'll get the message. What does March the 8th, 1994 mean to you, Phil? Do you feel guilty? Because I do. I have dreams. Awful, terrible dreams. I met a Catholic priest when I was in Bristol. Fine man. Fine man. He had faith. Solid as a rock he was. I thought, Frankie, my son, you could do with some of that. You know what stopped me? Never thought of confessing, Phil. I think about it all the time. You know, wash it all the way. Maybe start to sleep easy at night. You know, anyone would think that you... You were the only one that suffered in all this. Well, you ran away, remember? 
I stuck around. And every time I pass that car lot, I'm reminded. So don't talk to me about guilt. Look at yourself, Phil. And look at where you are. Now look at me. And where I am. What do you want, Frank? What I want is peace of mind, but you can't give me that, can you? So, in the meantime... In the meantime, what? I need a roof over my head. I need some kind of work. And I need to get back on my feet again. And you, Philip Mitchell, you owe me. Why don't you take no for an answer? I could wash up, I'll sweep the floors, I'll do anything. N-O spells no. Now, do you mind? You agree with me, don't you, Kay? You don't want to let Frank Butcher get to you, Peggy. Oh, it's not just him. I've had it with everyone today. Sam, Ricky, Steve, the pub. Me. You. I thought you were going on holiday. Huh? Oh, my God, I completely forgot. I haven't cancelled me flight. Yeah, give me that, I'll try and get your money back for you. Oh, you've changed your tune. Well, I've been thinking, uh, it's going to make my life a whole lot easier with you standing. Since when have I made your life easier? That's not my job. I was thinking what would be like with you gone. I mean, there's all those unpaid Christmas invoices. They've got to go down in the book. You know what I'm like with paperwork. No, it'll be a big weight off my mind. But that's a huge job. That's why it's good you're not going anywhere. And what were you having got rid of Steve? Well, we've got to find someone to prepare the food, haven't we? Now, hang on a minute. Anyway, I better get going. Places to go, people to see. I'll see you all later. Oh, hang on, Grant, you forgot this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later, Kathy. So what do you reckon Frank's really up to? I don't know, but we've got to keep an eye on him, agreed? Agreed. Now, what's the best way of doing that? <laughs> you tell me. Well, Mum's on holiday. Steve's been kicked out of his room. Nigel's in Ireland. Seems to me you're short-staffed. Oh, no, hang on a minute. It makes sense. You know Mum barred him for life? Yeah, but Mum ain't here, is she? Look, make him pop, man. Give him Steve's room. And we can keep tabs on him all the time. Yesterday, you told me to stay away from Frank, would you? So I've changed my mind. I don't know. For me, Grant. Place is important. I don't believe it. You remembered. Remember what? I was so Frank was in here. Phil. The antenatal class. Oh, listen, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to give that a miss. All oh, right. I've got a bit of business to sort out. I'm sorry. That's fine. No problem. Frank, can I have a word? I've, uh, I've got a bit of good news for you. Hello? Yeah, have you got any tickets left for the main film? 